What's up guys, Max here and I'm going to do a video today on cheat meals, cheat days, cheating in general. Not in life, just on your meals and your diet. So the biggest question I get asked a lot is, you know, when can I have cheat meals? Should I have cheat meals? Should I have cheat meals or days or weeks or months or years? I'm sure all of you guys watching this video probably think that I should do a cheat lifetime and bulk up and become big fat fatty and uh, you know get in, gain some size but that honestly is not what I'm trying to do right now so we're gonna X that and we're just gonna stay on topic we're gonna try to I'm trying to keep this short and sweet so uh, let's talk about cheat meals and cheat days what are cheat meals and cheat days obviously these are gonna be days that you um, you know either a don't track any macros B, go over your macros, or C, uh, you track some of your macros but not the other. Now the last thing, you might be like, well, what do you mean track some of your macros? Well, I know all you muscle heads out there, on your cheat days, you probably still are like, you know what, I still want to get in some protein, right? So you wake up and you chug some protein shakes because you still want to get your protein in, um, you know, regardless of the cheat day. So you know, you're, you're cheating, but you're hitting your protein, so you're kind of counting your macros. Now, having an entire and where you're going completely over your macros is basically where you're tracking, you're tracking, uh, you have a meal that messes everything up and you're just like, YOLO, and you just continue on through your day and you keep eating and you're like, the whole day is screwed up. And then you have a day where you're like, you wake up and you're like, I'm not tracking one effing macro and I'm just going to pound my face all day. My opinion on it is, first of all, we are not... Calvin Klein models. We are not, um, you know, we are not Greg Plitt. We are not all these things where, you know, lifting is our job and lifting and, and keeping a perfectly physique, perfect physique is our job. So, you know, my opinion is if you want to have a cheat meal or cheat day, go for it. Okay, it's not going to be that big of a deal, but I think there is some structure to it. I'm getting a phone call. Don't know who that is. Stop that. Okay, so what I would say, I'm saying it's not our job, so it's not that big of a deal, okay? So if you want to have one, sure, but the great thing about, you know, if it fits your macros or flexible dieting is that you don't need a cheat day. Like, here's the real question is, why do you want a cheat day? Do you know, I don't reserve a day, I'm not like, ooh, I can't wait for Sunday so I can pound my face. It's like, what's the point? You know, you're so dedicated to tracking your macros and your fitness, why would you want an entire day to throw off your week? You know, is it going to mess your entire week up? No, but it's like, it's not going to, it's not going to get you, you better. You know, it's not going to stay in your track. You know, yeah, it's not going to be that big a deal, but like, what's the, what's the point? So I don't think you should do a cheat day or a cheat meal if just, be, just to do one, you know? I don't, I don't wake up on a Sunday and be like, yes, Sunday! Not only the Lord's Day, but it is a cheat day, and it is Max's day, and I gotta pound my face with food the entire day. And you know, you know when I made that cheat day video where I I bulked, it's like it's like you're looking for things to eat because you're like I I can't wait to eat all this food. The great thing about flexible dieting is that you can eat all the magical things that you want to eat without um, you know while still staying in your macros. So if you want to eat some pizza, have some pizza, but you don't need the whole pizza. You know you've already dedicated your lifestyle and you know a lot of your time into the gym and stuff and you're used to tracking your macros. So what's the point of going on this like binge where you're going to eat a bunch of, you know, things? What I think you should really do is basically, you know, have a cheat day if you for a couple reasons. Okay, so let's say on a Sunday you're like uh, you know, your girlfriend or your mother was like uh, you know, little Maximus, we'd like to go to Olive Garden tonight for dinner, okay? And but you but like but you know, you've already eaten a whole bunch of your food. You're like, there's no way I can eat Olive Garden. Or like, like you know, going out to a fancy, let's like, say you're going to your, with your girlfriend, if you have a girlfriend, uh, you know, you're going out to eat with their parents. So you have to go, and let's say you've already hit all your macros, or like you're very, you know, you're, you don't have that much fat, you don't have that much carbs, because you're like, you know, tracking your macros out today. And so you go out to this meal, and you're like, okay, I can't order nothing, because I'm going to look like an idiot. So you're like, I gotta order a meal, but it's gonna throw me off. I'm gonna lose all my gains, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. In that instance, have a cheat, have a cheat meal, okay? You know, go out, enjoy yourself. You know, but you don't have to pound your face with food. That's another thing. I mean, 
So if you're going to have this cheap meal, just because you're going out, get a normal meal, but you're still conscious. I bet you one thing, no matter what you're doing, it's impossible not to track macros once you've already started. You know, you're always going to see things with fats, carbs, proteins. You're always going to be like, uh, maybe I won't get that oil on there. Uh, you know, these breadsticks have a lot of fat on them, you know. Uh. So my opinion is don't, sh don't plan a cheat day or don't plan a cheat meal. You know, what I, the, you can fit everything in, you know. So if you want to go out, you know, go out. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the really the only times I I have my cheat days where I really don't track any macros are going to be holidays. Um, you know, you know Thanksgiving. You know, there's an example. Thanksgiving, I have a cheat day. Um, you know, situations where you you can't track your macros, or to be very very hard for you to track your macros. But you're always gonna you know always try to get your protein in. Just don't be stupid. You don't need to throw off you know all this work that you've been doing. You know. You don't want to go seven days to go back one day. You don't want to go be like seven days forward, one day back, and you'll always be, you know, six days. So my advice would be if you want to have a cheat meal, have a cheat meal, but just don't go overboard with it. Plan it into your macros a little bit. And um, other than that, that's really, you know, my opinion on this topic. I'm trying not to make this video too long. But, you know, I don't see the point in cheat days because I just don't see the point in, like, waking up and, like, you know, going to pound town for food. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, you know, I'm, it, it just doesn't appeal to me, honestly. So that's my opinion on it, guys. I hope you liked this video. I know I was ranting stuff. What are some other topics that you want me to cover? I mean, that's, like, you know, these aren't, like, you know, the, the scientific, you know, benefits of cheat days and psychological benefits of cheat days. This is just Max's opinion on cheat days. So I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you soon. Oreo, still don't want to have in there, but my macro is done for the day. When you sleep, you burn muscle. It's called muscle catabolism. You start losing muscle when you sleep, just like you would when you work out. Nick Wright. All right, guys, this is post-workout meal number two. You want to do this half an hour to an hour after your first post-workout meal. Nick Wright.